Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I've reviewed quite a few flashlights here on the channel and honestly they can get a little boring and I pretty much made up my mind that I was done reviewing flashlights. But then Nightcore reached out to me and asked me to review their new keychain light, the T4K. It looked like a perfect light to take backpacking, especially ultralight backpacking. So stay tuned, we're going to take a look at this awesome little light. Now I'll say right up front that this is my favorite flashlight that I have ever reviewed. Like I said, I have lots of them, so the only reason I would agree to review another or even to purchase another is if I have a very specific use in mind. Like I said, in this case, it's backpacking, ultralight backpacking. So let's check out the Nightcore T4K. So this is the Nightcore T4K. It's got this really cool box. Just open it up and you can see inside here comes very nicely packaged. Here is the light itself. Zoom y'all in a little bit. Give you a quick view of all the different angles. Here's our LEDs, controls on top, this in the back. There's your USB-C port and the clip on the back. It's 3.2 by 1.5 inches. It weighs 2.72 ounces or 72 grams, very lightweight. It's got four Cree XPL2 V6 LEDs. It's got five brightness levels. I'll show you all in a little bit. Ultra low is one lumen, low is 15 lumens. Mid is 65, high is 200, and turbo is 4,000. Like I said, it's got the USB-C charge port right here. It's got a 1,000 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. It's got power safeguards, like overcharge protection, all kinds of cool stuff built in. Costs $89.95, so pretty expensive for a little light like this. We'll turn it on. This is the power button right here. Turn it on, okay? And you can see the screen, all right? I'll leave it like that for you guys. I'm probably going to blind myself here. The screen as you toggle through, so that's 15 lumens. It tells you how long, this is pretty much fully charged. So 21 hours, if you go up to 65, you see you got seven hours of battery life. Go up to 200, two hours and 45 minutes. And when I press turbo, okay, it'll go for a 10 second burst. I'll press down and hold it. And you can see it gives you the 4,000 milliamps and then it'll just timer down as the turbo lasts. It's really nice that it gives you how many lumens you're using and your runtime remaining. Really, really handy feature right on that little LED display. It's got a mechanical quick release. It's got a little button on the back here so you can press it. So if you have this attached, say, to your book bag, this will pop right off, okay? And you can carry it with you when you come back to your book bag or whatever it might be attached to, your backpack. You can just pop it right back on like that. This will clip onto your belt loop or whatever, but it's nice that it's got this little button very strongly attached there, and you can just pop it right off. It's got two lockout modes. If you double tap and hold down, it'll take you to number one. And then to unlock it, you, hold, you double tap and hold down again, and it'll take it off lock. If you put it in this first lock mode, nothing works except for turbo. So you can turn it on, you push whatever, but if you hold turbo down, it will give you access to turbo. Now, if we put it back into lock mode and instead of letting go, we hold it till it gets to number two right there. Okay, you see lock mode number two doesn't work. There's nothing. So you can put it inside of your pack and it will not accidentally turn on. Again, to unlock it, tap once and then hold down. And it's unlocked. It's got this very nice deep pocket carry um, clip and it works very, very well. It's been sturdy so far, not had any problems with it. One of the cool things is that this can be continuously powered. So if you plug it up to a battery bank, for example, in your tent, you can just plug it up and it will not chew up your battery. It will run straight off of the battery bank. Like I said, very simple two buttons, on off, and you can cycle through your different levels right here. And from any level, anytime you want, you can hit an access turbo. The other cool thing is if it's completely off and you hold it down, it'll access turbo anytime you want it to. Very easy to lock, which I like. I'll just lock it. I usually will leave it in lock one. And that way, the only way it'll turn on is if you hold and press down the turbo. Otherwise, you are not going to get it accidentally turn on and chew up your battery. Now, it's extremely difficult to show off the different strengths of light, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna take my dogs for a little walk around the pond and we're gonna see how this light works.
Now, like I said earlier, this is by far my favorite flashlight that I've ever reviewed. And in fact, it's my favorite flashlight that I've ever owned. I find myself carrying it every single day, something I've never done with a flashlight before. And I think I'm gonna keep carrying it long term. So let's talk a little bit about the things that I love about this flashlight. First of all, the screen tells you everything you need to know. No more guessing how many flashing lights is 50% power, or where am I as far as lumens, how many lumens am I actually using, how much longer will the battery last. This screen tells you everything. It tells you what mode you're in, how many lumens you're using, and how long the battery is expected to last. That is awesome information. It doesn't have a million buttons. A lot of these flashlights have too many controls. Simple two button controls. It's USB-C rechargeable, which goes along with a lot of the newer technology out there. Everything that I use out on trail now and pretty much everything that I try to have around the house is USB rechargeable. I don't like having to use new batteries, go out and buy new batteries. I'd rather have something rechargeable. This is just enough power with 1000 milliamps to keep it lightweight, but give you a decent amount of runtime. It's super lightweight. It's super small. It's got a great clip to keep it inside of your front pocket. And that clip is also really nice for attaching it to a pack, to the outside of a pack, to the inside of a, of a pocket, whatever it is, that clip is really going to work. And last but not least is the crazy, and I mean crazy bright turbo mode. The difference between 200 lumens and the turbo is astronomical. You will love using this light. I've had it as part of my EDC for about three weeks. And like I said, it's going to stay in my pocket. It'll go on trail with me. It's going to go in my day ruck as an everyday carry when I go out in the woods. I really like this flashlight. And even though Nightcore did give me this flashlight, I'm planning on purchasing a second one because I want to make sure there's one always in my car. It is the perfect emergency flashlight. So I'm curious if any of you guys have this light and do you like it as much as I do? It's a $90 flashlight, which is not cheap, but the functions that come with it to me are worth the money. I'm also curious if anybody doesn't like it. Are there things about this light you look at and say, I really don't like that. I wouldn't buy it for that reason. Let me know. And then maybe other people will feel the same way. I think every time you look at a light like this, you have to just look at the pros and cons. And honestly, I see way more pros than cons with this light. There is a link down below to try to purchase your own. They're a little bit hard to find these days, but go ahead, click that link if you want to try to get one. I do not think you will be sorry at all. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube and helps this channel grow. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. Like I said, I was pretty sure I had retired from reviewing flashlights, but Nightcore convinced me with this one because I thought it would fit perfectly in my ultralight kit and it does if you are looking for a really good light with a super bright turbo mode something you can really depend on it's waterproof it is is really trail resistant if you're looking for something like that and you want it super lightweight check out the nightcore t4k hope everyone is having a good end of winter look forward to spring coming up as always guys appreciate you checking out the paleo hiker md channel stay tuned for more videos soon